At some point in our lives, many of us have probably been reminded of the importance of considering the past when making decisions for the future. This advice seems especially fitting given the challenges we have faced over the past year. It also seems fitting that such a historic milestone, Missouri's bicentennial celebration, coincides with these challenges. The bottom line is that we have been working day in and day out to fight COVID-19 while also dealing with civil unrest, violent crime, and a difficult budget. As I look to the next four years, however, I believe it is important to not only remember the challenges, but also the many great accomplishments we've had. Time and time again, our administration has addressed the challenges of our communities and our state head on. Rather than leaving them for another day, another administration, or another generation. Over the past two and a half years, we've offered, we've offered bold solutions, and we have gotten results. But results aren't just about numbers on a bottom line. They are also about improving lives, creating opportunities, and keeping families safe. I sometimes joke about my gray hair. But to be very honest, this gray hair was earned through thick and thin, ups and downs, successes and failures. And the last challenge I have left as governor of this state is how I can make Missouri a better place, a better place to raise a family, a better place to find a job, a better place to open a business, a better place for our children and grandchildren to achieve the American dream. It is important that we continue to follow through on key investments in workforce development and infrastructure. We must also continue finding ways to strengthen public safety, improve health care, and make state government more accountable.